I was shocked. I didn't see it coming uh, at all. Um, there had been a couple of rumors, but I, I didn't believe them. And I could see that uh, the company of actors and the crew was feeling a little demoralized because the work was enormous amount of work. The volume of work that we were doing on a daily basis uh, was enormous. And the hours were very long. And uh, they were getting demoralized. And I had just, um, just released uh, the book that I had written. Uh, and it became a New York Times bestseller. And the reason I, I say that here is because uh, when, when we launched it, it was at, at Barnes & Noble on Fifth Avenue in New York, and as most actors feel, it's like, what if nobody comes, you know? It's like, oh my goodness. Well, the line was around the block, and it was like that no matter what city I went to on the book tour. But because I was on the book tour, I saw all these fans, the Mall of America, you know, that rotunda, three stories up. So I could go back to the studio and say, I think it's just a rumor. Believe me, our fabulous, passionate, loyal fans are there for us, just the way they were last year and the year before and always have been. They are there. I'm sure it's a rumor. Then I got a call uh, early, early one. I mean, really early, because our calls were early at the studio. But it was Agnes calling me from New York. All my children had already moved to Los Angeles. And Agnes called me to give me a heads up. She had been told by her son, Bobby, at 2 o'clock in the morning, New York time, that, um, that probably all my children was going to be canceled. And not to be surprised if I didn't get a call that day when I went into work, uh, that um, the head of ABC Daytime and our producer would probably call me into our producer's office. And I went to work, and sure enough, I was called into the office. And um, Julie and our producer and, and the man who had been the head of ABC Daytime told, he, well, he told me. They sat me down, I was in between them. And he told me that uh, all my children was going to be canceled, as well as One Life to Live. When, you know, he sat me down and told me that the show was going to be canceled, I, I found the nerve, you know, to ask what would we be replaced with. And he, he said a show that would, would be 40% less to produce, so that it was a financial decision. And, and I remember feeling so, so kind of, um, you know, like the wind taken out of me because I didn't, I really didn't see it coming. I was going around the country assuring everybody that the show was doing well because they had just brought back Agnes Nixon and, and would allow her back in, and our head writer, Lorraine Broderick. So the show was in such good shape at that point, and I just couldn't believe it. Anyway, then I went downstairs with Julie, our executive producer, to the studio floor, where apparently they had asked everyone to be assembled, and there was um, an announcement made at, simultaneously with the group in New York, although this was being done from LA. And we could see on the monitors the group at One Life to Live in New York were getting the news at the same time we were. And that's how we found out. That's just how we found out. And it was very, very sad. Everyone was so sad. You know, pe people lost jobs that they loved and livelihoods and, you know, benefits, health insurance. And, you know, people had moved from one end of the country to the next and taken their children out of school here. and their little children in school there and and it just didn't seem right because the fans were there and the fans were so fantastic you asked me about our fans the fans were so vocal so upset that they were taking all my children off the air that um, they crashed the uh, computer system at ABC uh, the main switchboard and and I had been told this and I had been told that there was a recording uh, that if you called ABC, the uh, recording said to register a complaint about all my children being canceled, press whatever number. For all other ABC business, <laughs> press that. that. Wow. Since then, after that, right after that, when I would go to meet different people at, at uh, the executive offices, they would, they would say to me how fantastic the fans had been and that no one had ever seen anything like this, that the All My Children fans were so vocal. 
But that didn't change anything? It didn't change anything, unfortunately. It did not change anything. But I'll tell you the best thing I heard, because as I said, I was doing the book tour. I came back to New York and was doing um, a book signing, and uh, people would come through you know, and asked me then to sign their books. And this one man came through and I was signing his book and he said, you know, Susan, they tell us that cotton is the fabric of our lives, but really it's all my children. <laughs>